welcome back to my channel. Well, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing another Christmas DIY using Dollar Tree chargers. You can totally take those chargers and upscale them and make them look so much more expensive. And I'm going to be doing these like I did the ones I did for fall about two years ago, okay? But um, let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna make this project, okay? Many of you may remember I hauled these beautiful red chargers from the Dollar Tree. I love them. I think they are gorgeous. They are beautiful just like this. But they have the silver and they have the gold. Um, even a wooden one, any charger will work, okay? And you could even do this on glass if you wanted to. Now the chargers are not to be eaten off of. They're to go under the plate to set the plate in the center. But um, that is what I'm doing. So I'm, I picked up four of these red chargers from the Dollar Tree. Then I picked up, I thought I got these napkins at TJ Maxx, but it says on the back, Joann's. So I'm really not sure. I guess it was Joann's. And they were $4.99. And I'm totally obsessed with the red truck or Woody's or anything like this. And I think they're beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just take these and put them on the plate, okay? So you'll need a packet of napkins, any kind you want. You can use those from Dollar Tree if you want. They just didn't have what I wanted, okay? And then you're going to be needing some of these little stickers that are clear snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. They're so pretty, you'll need several packs. And then also the blue ones. I just put them in here because I've had them for quite a while. I just keep stacking them in here, all right? And then you're going to need some Mod Podge. I have the mat. You'll need a glue gun, and you're gonna need a brush. I think this is really the best time of, type of brush to use. You can use a foam brush, but when you're sealing the top, you definitely wanna use a brush like this, okay? So that is all you need to make these adorable charts. Okay guys, I wanted to um, show you Top Cash Back. I've worked with them before. And I really do like what the company stands for, and I have not had any problems with them. And this video is sponsored by Top Cash Back. But um, it's a great way to shop online for the holidays, especially for the holidays. You don't have to go and deal with the crowds and the hustle and the bustle if you don't want to. Or just any time that you want to shop, a lot of people are shopping from home. And Top Cash Back has over 4,000 retailers. And um, it's really easy to use. You just go to topcashback.com, uh, fill out some information like your email address. They don't want a lot. And you are already part of Top Cashback by then. And anytime you shop online, you can make money. I think that is so wonderful. Um, and what they're doing for my subscribers they're going to, if you sign up, you get $10 top cash back sign up bonus, plus you'll get to get cash back while you're shopping. But it's really, like I said, easy to do, but we're going to use Dollar Tree. Um, so you just go up to the search and just type in Dollar Tree. And you can see Dollar Tree is 4% cash back. QVC is on here, Walmart's on here, Amazon's on here, eBay, uh, and we're even thinking about taking a trip and you can uh, use it to book your travel through here and make cash back. So I think that's wonderful, but we're going to do uh, Dollar Tree cash back there, and there's no minimum to receive your payout. So all you have to do is just, you'll see um, cash, get cash back now, click on that, Top cash back will take care of the rest. You don't have to do anything. They'll keep up with where you're shopping and apply your cash back. Okay, so we want to do Christmas. And here's all the little things that you can get in Christmas. Now, a couple months ago when I worked with Top Cash Back, I didn't know, but Dollar Tree has a pick and pack section which you can buy items in smaller quantities. But look at these, this is really pretty. These, if your Dollar Tree isn't fully stocked or you can't 
Um, they don't have what you want when you go. This is a perfect way to go around it. Now for these chargers, pretty sure you have to buy a, buy a case, but let's look at the pick and pack in holidays and see what comes up. Okay, now all of this you can purchase in smaller quantities and I think that's wonderful. Here's those red chargers that I'm going to be using and if you're interested in that you just click on it and you can zoom in. I like that function. You can see really well. If you want it, you just go up here to the units four units, 8, 12, 16, or 20. So, but I'm only going to do four units, okay? You can do free in-store pickup or UPS delivery, and I typically do the UPS delivery. We're going to add that to the cart. Okay, now we are going to, and you, they'll show you that you can get it in silver or that, okay? So you can view your cart or you can check out, but I want to continue shopping and see what else. I mean, they have all kinds of things here, these little signs that you can get, just a lot of different um, holiday items. And if you want to buy it in, you know, the whole pack, you can, but I want to look up here at crafting. crafting because I want some of these wooden uh, if your Dollar Tree doesn't have the wooden items that you can craft with this is a great way for you to get them but I'm looking here's these wonderful wooden trays or these wood pallets like I made my sign out of in the kitchen with the Dollar Tree uh, wooden tree and then I put the candy in it They're great projects for Christmas Here's what I want, these crafters wooden signs. These will be perfect for what for any project that you want to do. And you can zoom up. I like that this has the smaller and the larger, okay? So let's see, you can only buy a case of these. So I want one case and I'm going to do UPS delivery and I'm going to add it to my cart. It's that simple. Now we're going to check out. All you have to do is just hit check out and it's that simple to shop with top cash back and get money back um, so I'll put all the information in the description box below to sign up I think you would really enjoy it um, my internet's a little slow so this is our and it will tell you that it's recorded your visit it will show you how much you have made this is an old one my internet I don't know what's going on with it today it's very slow I spent, I think it was um, $26, $27 like that, and um, I made, I think it was like $3, so it's a win-win. So I just wanted to show you, I had a lady ask me the other day what the name of the site was where you can get money back, and this is it, Top Cash okay, Back. And I'll show you how I made my circles. Now with this, if you wanted, you could cut it just as a square, you could cut the vehicle out itself. Um, there's so many things you could do. Last time, I took a really large, clear bowl and just put it over and traced around it. But this time, this has some of this really pretty plaid, but I didn't want it in my um, on my chargers. You could if you wanted to. So I just got this bowl that I got from Walmart and just put it right where it starts to meet this plaid and this plaid. And I took a pin and traced around it and then took some scissors and cut it out, okay? So that's how you get your circles. And this is what you'll have. I think that's so cute. And like I said, you could actually cut around the vehicle if you wanted, and that would be pretty. Then all you have to do is just separate your plies. This is a two-ply napkin, so you just separate it. Okay, and then I'm going to get my charger, make sure there's no dust on it at all. So we're just going to put this right here, and I think I might do this one first. 
And now you can measure if you want. There's a lot of different things you can do. I typically eyeball everything. So I'm gonna get my Mod Podge. Now you can, if you get um, something on the charger, I'm gonna to try to be very careful. I'm sure it will dry clear, but I don't want anything to look nasty. So you can use wet ones or baby wipes and clean anything up that happens to get on there. But I'm going to try to just stay right under here where I want it, okay? So, just going to pick this up and put this right on the charger. But these chargers are so pretty, you wouldn't even have to embellish it. But I think they're extra special when you embellish it. And it's going to go with my theme really well in my um, dining room. Okay, let's see. Oop, I gotta go out a little further. And you'll also need and I forget this part every time. I don't know why until I start doing this. You'll need some saran wrap. Let okay. me grab. Then all you have to do is put the saran wrap over this and smooth out your air bubbles. Now it won't bother me if mine's a little um, crinkly because I like things to look kind of old, but this is a great way to do this to keep from tearing your napkin. That's how I always do mine, and it always turns out really nice. Then just gradually lift it up. Okay. And then I'm going to clean around this edge. Okay. All right, and that's what we have so far. I think that's so pretty. Now all I'm going to do is just take this and then go back over the top with some Mod Podge very lightly to fill it in in the same direction that everything is going. And you have to use a light hand or you'll tear your napkin. And it will give it a nice sheen as well. And get around your edges. Okay, then I'm going to put this plastic wrap right back on top again and smooth everything in case I got it a little more wrinkled than I want. But like I said, it really doesn't bother me because I like things to look old. Just be delicate when you're handling it and then just pull this off very gently. Go back with your weight, baby wipe or wet one. Okay, and that's what we have so far. I think these already look so much more expensive, although they were gorgeous as they were, okay? So I'm going to set this over here and let this dry, and I'm going to do the same exact thing for the rest of my chargers, and I'll be back when we start embellishing. Okay, here is how it's turned out. I love it. I have to admit, I did not expect, because my other ones did not do this so much white, maybe I had a little bit too much uh, Mod Podge underneath it, but I love it. It looks like you're looking through a snow globe and they're driving in the snow. I love how it turned out, but here is how this looks. It's so pretty. And they're each one a little bit different. I just love them. And here's this one. And my fourth one, um, I haven't decoupaged it yet because I'm waiting, using it as a template, how I want to put my gems around. So let's go ahead and start putting these down. Now you can use, um, I'm going to use some hot glue. If you want this really permanent, I would suggest E6000 
um, and maybe with a combination of hot glue. But I'm just going to first put this around here. And I don't know where I got these really large ones. I thought they were in with Dollar Trees. Maybe they were, I don't know. But I can't figure that one out. So, okay, so there's the really large one. Then I'm putting the blue in towards the ring, inner ring. Then the clear one out towards this bead, not quite touching it. And I'm just, then I'm putting another big one there. I'll show you in a minute, just as soon as I get this all done. You wouldn't have to do this with the larger ones if you don't, if they're not in the Dollar Tree packs. Um, so far, I haven't found them, so I, I don't think they were, or maybe they were one year and not this year. I don't know. But you don't have to have it. They're just as pretty without these larger ones. Okay, just look at it. Make sure it's like you want it. Now, the ones from Dollar Tree have stickers on the back that you can use. So, uh, but these large ones, they don't. So, I'm going to have to glue them. And I probably, I might glue the others as well. But you could just peel this off. I would recommend gluing for like permanent lasting but i think for this purpose i'll just do them this way but i would if you want to make sure that um they don't go anywhere i would glue them but these are really sticky and just keep working your way down Try to get them off from each other, right across. Like I said, you could use any napkins that you wanted. Okay, now I will put this on. I just think this is so pretty. These would make nice gifts. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to have really pretty um, Christmas decor. I'm gonna hop right down here to the bottom and go ahead and glue this one on. And then I can make sure that I'm getting these exactly where I want them. The Dollar Tree really makes it so easy to come up with beautiful items for your home. Okay, and this is what we have. I think that is so pretty. And like I said, if you didn't want that white in there, just don't use as much Mod Podge. But I think it looks like, like I said, they're driving through the snow or you're looking through a snow globe. I think it's really pretty. Now, I may take more um, of these and put them in here. I'm not sure just yet. So I know you know what I'm doing. So for time purposes, I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these and I'll be back when okay, I'm... Okay, guys, I have this done so far. I think they're so pretty. I think they just look very cold and very much more upscale, okay? So I did all of these, as you can see. I love how this turned out right down through there. And I haven't done my fourth one yet because I wanted to show you something. If you didn't want to decoupage anything in the center, you could just do this. And I think it is gorgeous. When I set my plates down, this is all you're going to be able to see anyway, but I think it is beautiful. So, 
Um, don't forget to check out Top Cashback's link uh, in the description box. It's a great way to shop and save money. Um, I always use them um, anymore since I found out about them when I'm shopping online. You can save so much money even if you're going to take a trip. I think we're planning a trip um, in December and I'm going to use it to get some cash back when I do that. And Amazon, like I said, tons of things. If you're going to shop, you might as well get top cash back, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.